You see, today we have the opportunity to do kingdom business. Say, so I don't know about me, I, I can't do kingdom business. Yeah, you can. So anytime you give your time or your resources to help spread the message of the gospel, you're doing kingdom business. See, a lot of times we get caught up in, well, you know, I, I'm working for the church. Don't ever say you're just working for the church. Don't ever say, well, I'm just to this or I'm just to that. Do you realize any time that you help us spread the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ, you're doing kingdom business. If you're out there in the parking lot helping park cars, you're doing kingdom business. If you're helping our kids or helping our youth, what you're doing is you're not just helping the church, you're helping the Lord and you're doing kingdom business. And when you begin to do kingdom business, it makes a difference. When you give of your resource, you're not just giving to the church. Well, I, I gave something to the church. No, actually, you gave towards God's kingdom because we're able to spread this message all over Montgomery County and all over the world. So you're doing kingdom business. You see, for us, let me just talk to you about this building. For us, it's going to be better with the building. Could we continue to do what we're doing? Yes, we could. But it's going to be better with the building. You see, when we build a building, we're going to add on to our nurseries and we'll stop closing nurseries down. Sometimes people come and walk up and they hand us their kids. We go, I'm sorry, we can't take your kids. Why? It's not because we don't like your kids. They're adorable. <laughs> but the problem is we don't have enough room. And if we don't have enough room, we, gotta, we have to say no. We have to, we have to obey the fire codes there. So it's going to help us with, with that. It's going to help us with our children. We march your children up and down steps. We're always trying to find empty places. We're not trying to give them exercise. We're just trying to find an empty room. <laughs> But the idea is we want to be able to impact your kids. And so we're going to impact them better if we have a better environment to teach them in. Our high school, we don't even have a high school ministry on Sunday morning. We've got a great one on Wednesday, but we don't have one on Sunday. We could, but we don't have the space. We'll be better with the building. We'll be more effective with the building. And so when you give to all the board, when you make a commitment to all the board, you're not giving to a building. You're giving to a more effective way of getting the gospel message of Jesus Christ out to children and youth all over the world. And if we look at it like that, that's a whole different perspective. That's a whole different way of looking. Because then what happens is you begin to open the door to God's kingdom blessings in your life. I wasn't the one who said this. This is in the scriptures, but in 2 Corinthians, it said, remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion. That means in response to pressure. For God loves the cheerful giver, and God's able to bless you abundantly so that in all things, that at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. You know that scripture? And I've, some of us in here have seen that play out in our life. Some of this, this may be new to you, but I would encourage you when you obey the Lord and sometimes he'll have you pull out in deep water. It's a little risky. It's a little, you're thinking, oh, I don't know. It's a head heart thing. I don't know. My heart says this. My head says this. And they're differing. Say, Alan, what should I do? Follow your heart. 